Yes, hello champions, this is Elias Mohozi. Very, very delighted to join you this week to share with you tips you can use to grow your business, especially those of us who are into network marketing. I am, um, I first of all begin by welcoming anyone who is new, who is seeing these videos for the very first time. You are new to our channel. Please, you are most welcome and please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the tips that we share, uh, especially to grow your business in network marketing. I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Marketing Success. And in here, I write my whole story of us able to grow a business from zero to about 250,000 people within a period of nine years and becoming the top distributor of my company in the whole of Africa. I really wish the same success for you. Please make sure, so, make sure you get yourself a copy of this book and actually in the video you're watching, in the link below, you can be able to click and uh, you'll be able to see the link where you can be able to get yourself a copy of this book right on your phone. This week we are going to share uh, a very, very interesting topic and very, very important in network marketing and that is make one more call. Make one more call. As many of us know, is that uh, persistence, hard work, and patience will always be rewarded. It may not be rewarded immediately. It may not be rewarded when you most want it. It may not be rewarded, but for sure, as long as you work hard, as long as you are persistent, as long as you are pers uh, patient, somehow, someday, one day, your hard work is going to be rewarded. I've seen it in the so many years I've been building network marketing businesses. I've come to learn that this fact is very true. Now, as many of you know that all high achievers have the self-discipline to go the extra mile. Now, these people are not superstars. They get tired, they burn out, they also hate rejection like others, but for sure, they choose to go the extra mile, even when it is hurting. So my dear friends, I want to really encourage us that in whatever we do as networkers, we, we should endeavor to go the very, very extra mile. Go the extra mile when prospecting. And what that one means is that don't um, uh, accept no for an answer. Make sure that, uh, as we have been sharing in the previous videos, that when it comes to talking to people, adding names to your name list, adding put your sales funnel, go the extra mile. If you feel that you have hit five and you have hit your target, no, that's not the target. Go for 10. I, a gentleman called Grant Cardone wrote a very beautiful book, which is 10x factor that if you have set a goal of maybe uh, 10 calls per day, multiply that by 10 and make them 100. If you have set a goal of 100, multiply that per day and make them a thousand. So basically he's saying that go the extra mile. Now, as many of you know, I think there is um, uh, uh, a quote by Muhammad Ali. I think he was asked that, how many push-ups do you do every day? Now, Muhammad Ali is one of the greatest athletes of the, of the, of the world that ever lived. He said that they asked him, how many push-ups do you do on a daily basis? He says that I don't know because I only start counting when it starts hurting. So my dear friends, that time when you feel you have prospected enough, now that's the time whereby the extra, the extraordinary that you stand out from ordinary people begins, go the very extra mile. I also want to encourage us that we go the extra mile in calling, go the extra mile in the energy that you use, go the extra mile in how convincing you are, go the extra mile in, 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 in making sure that you really are sounding convincing, professional, that this person, they have no choice but to come, go ahead and go the extra what? Extra mile. I want to also encourage people, and I actually wrote about it in my book, go the extra mile when it comes presenting. I, I told you in my book that find satisfaction in a job well done. That many times you are going to meet prospects. Some of them will seemingly look negative. Some of them will seem uh, as if you are disturbing them. Some of them will seem not interested. That is not your business. What is important is do the best presentation ever. Be neat in your presentation. Speak with energy. Make sure that you close them. Talk about every detail that you feel is relevant. Hope this person uh, make a decision to join you. That extra mile that you take, that guest that you feel is sleeping, is not interested, the extra mile may be the reason why they will consider and they join your business. Uh, the other one, go the extra mile in closing. They don't take no for an answer. Remember, uh, one day I was doing a presentation. I think I wrote about it in my book. And I was, uh, I presented to this gentleman. His name is Shaban. And he decided, oh, I'm going to join. But I'm going to join with a smaller package. And I felt that like, oh, a small package is good enough. I think it's okay. There are those people who don't even have one package. But I, don't, I told myself, you know what? Why don't I 
just ask this guy to go for the biggest package. I told him, Shaban, that is very good and congratulations. But let me show you why it is important to join with a bigger package. A businessman like you should be able to join with a bigger package so that you can be able to earn more money. I did the presentation again. And with energy, with enthusiasm, as if I, I, I was had just woken up in the in the morning, yet it was really evening, I was tired, but I said, let me present my heart out. And I'm telling you, the presentation ended when Shaban had joined with the biggest package, and oh my goodness, I made a killing, and I went and paid my rent. At that time, my landlord was demanding me. So always go the extra mile if you really want success. Uh, the other one is that go the extra mile in follow-up. In my book here, I wrote about a gentleman called Godfrey Kasimbazi. Now, I I did this guy, when I first joined my current company, I talked to him. He's one of the very first people I talked to, and he was not interested. And I kept on calling him. He was never interested. Called him again, never interested. One year, second year, then finally in the in the in the third year, I was going through my old name list, and I saw his name. I said, you know what? Let me call this guy for just one extra time. And I called him, hi Godfrey, this is Elias Mahoz. I've been calling you for the last three years. Consider this one, be the last phone call I'll ever make to you about this opportunity. I wish you well, my brother. Come, come and see what I have to offer. Just come and tell me no in my face. He came to tell me no in my face. And I'm telling you, I went the extra mile to do the best presentation I can ever make to anyone with energy, with excitement, with enthusiasm. He found me prepared. I was overly dressed. I was looking nice. I had every tool ready and new and brand new and the attitude was right. And I'm telling you that very day good for customers. Joined the business and he came on to be one of the greatest leaders within my organization. That's extra mile paying you. Uh, the other one, go the extra mile with your professional image. Uh, one of the reasons why I started dressing like this, dressing full suits, um, was that uh, several years ago when I just joined the business, I would put on casually, put on normal, come on, like I was just... I was just like many people say, I'm not a leader, I'm nobody in the company, nobody cares. I'm one of the new members. Why would I go the extra mile in dressing smart? So one day I was uh, supposed to do the presentation. So um, my upline asked me that I would do the presentation. Actually said I was going to be the MC, I would be the one to introduce him. And I said, well, if I'm going to use him, let me just put on a suit, let me look professional. And I remember a lady, uh, I will not mention the name, Ke, uh, who was a mutual friend to my downline called Duncan at Kwasi. So this lady came in and she whispered to Duncan, eh, it looks like your friend Elias is making a lot of money. I am going to join. I had not presented, but just my professional image made this lady uh, feel that if I can dress like this, because she knew my before, now she had seen my after, and from that day on, I said, you know what, I am going to go the extra mile in dressing, in how I look, because let me tell you something, in marketing, whether you like it or not, people judge your appearance, how you smell, how you look like, how you 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 you, you, you dress, uh, the, the, the kind of hair that you have, the nails that you have, the shoes that you put on, you just must look the part. After all, we are selling the future, we are selling the dream. People buy us before they buy these companies. Go the extra mile in your professional image, on online, offline, what you post, the kind of profile picture that you have, all that is very important in you going the extra mile. Now, um, then also importantly, go the extra mile in learning the business. Go the extra mile in reading books. I remember uh, one of the challenges I had, I had a problem of presenting and closing. I was not a very good prospector. And I told myself that how long am I going to wait until I keep on saying I'm not good at prospecting, I cannot present, I cannot close, I cannot prospect, cannot close. And then I decided to read every book ever written on network marketing. Now, I think I've not read every book ever written on network marketing, but let me tell you something. I've read books and I've read books and I've read books. Up now, I'm still reading books. I, up now, I'm very, very determined to read every book ever written in network marketing. And I'm telling you, the moment I started reading a lot of books, that's when I got a lot of tips and that's how I was able to become the top earner of my company in the whole of Africa because of the too much knowledge. So my friends, you don't read one book and you say, I've read. You don't just attend training and think you've read. You don't just do one training on product and you think you've read. Go the extra mile. Go and research about the industry. Research about the products. Research about the ingredients of your products. Even read the things that you're not supposed to read because 
you love your business. So my dear friends, I want to encourage us, let us go the extra mile in every aspect of the business. That persistence, that patience, that extra work one day will pay off. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Please make sure you subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel and of course get yourself a copy of the master key. Otherwise, may God bless you. See you at the top and power.